What's up, Solid Steppers? It's Miss Ward coming to you. I am <clears throat> over here getting ready to roll by the beach momentarily. It's one of the things I like to do when I come home to remember I live by the beach and put all my stress in the water. That's what we do. Right now, I'm riding by the Beckham Stadium over here. Brand new. Anyway, so what I wanted to talk about, what has been on my mind to discuss is the fact that, um, you know, there's no time like the present. I watch people and listen to people talk about how they waiting on this and waiting on this to be right, that to be right. Let me share something with you about the real world. It will never be the right time. It will never be the right time. Don't put off tomorrow what your ass could do today. Ask me how I know. Like right now, I got to go make a stop. I was just talking to my mom. I said, you know, mom, the hardest thing about business is doing the stuff you don't want to do. But then you're mad the next day when you don't do it because it interferes with your progress and what you got to do. This is why systems are so important, man. Don't put off tomorrow what you for tomorrow what you can do today. I don't give a damn what time it is because there's a reason why your steps have to be ordered and you have to be disciplined. Now, getting back to the topic of hand, at hand, why exactly are you waiting? What are you waiting on? You know, I tell people all the time, your first and major investor is your job. Those of us, 99% of us that start businesses have been working a job, have been in a subordinate or managerial uh, position. And, you know, we look at these jobs and we go and make these companies millions of dollars. I can speak from experience, multiple millions of dollars and never get a real piece of the pie. Yeah, we get a title. Yeah, we get stature. Yeah, we get a six figure salary. Those of us that have had that experience. But there's a price you pay for that. So at some point, you got to decide. Now, I'm not saying everybody should have a business because I'm going to tell you, I was talking to one of my students. Um, today and he was talking about how he hasn't really vlogged his stuff and he's right he need to vlog it because this dude has a full time job he makes really you know you know double digits you know as far as for the month and when I first met him you know part time he was doing right around 1500 to 2000 now he's you know he's at the 10 I can say really at this point he's at the 10 plus mark uh 10,000 plus a month uh, mark now, you know, and he ain't even breaking a sweat just because he put systems in place, changed how he was building his process, changed how he was structuring his business, and he actually invested in what he needed to be successful. You know, additional equipment, uh, systems, and things of that place, and then his approach. Um, and you know, that's what I mean about tweaking. You know, it takes nothing to tweak takes y'all just a few minutes to tweak your business, you know, but everybody needs some kind of coach. Even I got coaches, you know. Now, I ain't going to sit here and say I listen to all of them, but hey, I got coaches. And they are always right. <clears throat> but they coach me the, right, the way that works for me where, you know, some of us just hard head. We got to hit our heads a couple of times. See, I know my issues. And that's why I can talk smack because a lot of y'all got the same damn issues I got. The reality is at some point you're going to have to step out there. I don't understand what y'all waiting on because reality, it ain't getting no damn better. So if you know like I know, I want y'all to take a moment and think about how many uh, appliance people are still posting videos and stuff. You know, a lot of those have expanded into other areas. Uh, they're out of the trucks. They're managing other people, whatever it is, that whatever route they choose to take. Because at the end of the day, they want a different quality of life. So appliance repair, their world does not revolve around that. I ain't, look, I'm not throwing shade at anybody because you know how you get you is how you get you. I ain't knocking nobody else so long as don't hurt nobody. My reality, my reality though is, is that most of the people who could be out here doing this better than me and, and those that came before me are, are listening to this video and they are sitting in fear. Some of you guys are uh, becoming what I like to call over-prepared. You got analysis paralysis, and you won't make a move. 
first you got to do is learn how to go into somebody's house. If you're going to be doing appliance repair, one of the most intimidating things I think is when people have to go into a stranger's home, you know, because that's not something that some people are naturally com comfortable with, you know, and it's myself and, and I'm going to just put it out. There's several other women that work in the industry. And if anybody should be concerned about going in our damn house is us, you know, and we go and do it on a daily basis repeatedly. We put structure in place. We put secure systems in place so that we are safe no matter how we move. So the reality is, what's your problem? What are you waiting on? Because what's going to happen is by the time you get in the game, it's going to be a problem. Because everything that you have been told is not going to be accurate or it's not going to be applicable in your area. That's why I tell people, when you get the blueprint, you get the blueprint and make it work for you. You apply what works for you. You tweak it to your environment, your clientele, and your business. You build the business a way, the way you want your life to be. I personally want to see every part of the damn world because that's how I'm built. I get bored. I want to move around. I need something, you know. Because I'm one of them people, I can't do the same thing every day because that's a problem. I need to have some excitement in my life, and I happen to build my business that way. You know, the reality is you got to come to terms with you, where you out in your process, and where you're lacking. Because most of y'all, there's only one thing that's keeping y'all from doing this, and that's fear. Y'all scared of shit. Y'all, some of y'all, some. I'm going to just be nice because this is YouTube. But you know, the reality is we all scared. But don't go out here. Always follow your gut. Let me tell y'all something about business and something about life. If something makes you uncomfortable, I'm going to tell you now, don't do it. Miss Ward is never going to push you off the cliff. But what I will say is that the first fear you got to uh, face is the fear of failure. You know, how you feel about that within yourself. Y'all can tell I'm back in South Florida because these clowns, like, what was the purpose of this idiot driving around people, getting out of the lane, and then moving up front? Like, I don't even understand. I can always tell when I'm back home because these clowns is just, they be doing the most. I mean, the absolute most to do nothing. But anyway, y'all know I'm always going to have a road rage moment when I'm down south because South Florida is... What did my customer in Gainesville, this lady of, of Spanish, of uh, this uh, Hispanic sister that I was working with in Gainesville, they used to live down in Davie. Anybody know what Davie is? Let's just say cows and horses, among other things. I'm going to be nice about it. But, you know, they also got Southwest Ranches out there, which is where Dwayne Wade, uh, Rick Ross, a lot of celebrities live out that way. But, uh, she was saying that South Florida is really North, Northern Latin America. She ain't lying. You know, it is definitely a global experience. But the reality is, some of us need to be exposed. Half of y'all problems, y'all ain't never been exposed to that, so y'all don't know how to move, you know? But at some point, you're gonna have to face your fears, and you're gonna have to get out here and do this. So from me to you, Take that leap. Don't wait on the new year because every time somebody tells me at the beginning of the new year, I'm looking at them like the new year is right now. You need to be doing this now so that when everybody else come in here and, and clog the arteries up for stuff you're trying to get going because they all decide to do it at the beginning of the year, you're already uh, established. And that's one of the biggest things I work on with my students about them getting established so no matter what happens, they are they have the ability to pivot. You know, most people allow life to happen to them instead of happening to life. You know, things are going to happen. But do you have things in place? Do you have backup uh, systems and backup trades and backup gifts and abilities that you can still eat and feed your your family. You know, I'm blessed because my mama didn't play the radio when I was growing up. I had I was raised with two other sisters and there were no men in our house to handle the garbage, fixing the car, mowing the grass, fixing the toilet. We had to do all that. My mom was not playing the radio. She didn't give a damn. If it was broken, we had to fix it. And it wasn't nowhere. We weren't getting nothing new. Nothing was coming. You better make it work. Make it do what it do with what you got. And be thankful. And don't back talk. And at the end of the day, you know, that put something in me about 
failure not being an option. You know, I don't know what an obstacle is. I know what a challenge is. I know what something uh, that occurs in my life to make me pause and, and look at it another way after I get out of my feelings because it didn't go the way I wanted to go. I just keep it moving and, you know, and make it, you know, make the best decision at the time and then live with that decision. You know, part of y'all problem is y'all scared to make a mistake and scared to fail. But what you keep forgetting, that is actually a part of business. How do you think you get this learning curve going? You got to get out here. You can listen. Let me tell you something. I'm going to give you a prime example. I'm the kind of person, I might go do a lid switch or do something simple that I've done over and over again. Even as much as a gasket for a dishwasher, something simple as hell. Which I, it, it really is. Gas, I mean, especially ones you just push in. I will review a video on YouTube. I will review, even though I've done this repair over and over again, I never take for granted that I can walk in that door and do it without missing a beat. Because let me explain something to you. Time you think you got this shit is the time you're going to fail. I'm telling you, that is when you're going to learn a lesson that you don't know what you thought you knew what you were talking about. And this is what I mean about mastering being overprepared. Even the best of the best continue to challenge themselves and keep their, their skills fine-tuned. And I think that's something that most people fail at. They get damn comfortable. And I'm going to tell you right now, I saw a lot of appliance repair businesses fail because people got to a point where they took this for granted. They took the sales for granted. They took the workflow for granted. And then when they turned around and stuff started drying up, it only dried up because your ass wasn't ready. Then you didn't store anything away for a rainy day. Let's just keep it a buck. Shoot, I've been guilty of it. I know that all day long. But guess what? In business is that you're going to have challenges in business and life is how you handle it. You know, like I said, a lot of my students are extremely successful, but they are successful not just because of my coaching, but because they followed the direction. And every time they asked, didn't they call a lot? I call the L. But you know, they were smart enough to take the L like a man or woman and get back the hell up and do it. Now, some of them, you know, had some challenges of being weaning off the being weaned off the nipple as I like to say but that's simply because I used to push them so hard because I could see what was in them even when they could just for them to get a glimpse of success and just a taste of it the problem is most people don't understand the only way you sustain success is through consistency and diligence and most people aren't diligent enough they're not focused enough they don't understand that life is ebbs and flow and if you ain't constantly fill it up the coffers with experience, with work ethic, with uh, and planting seeds for success so you can harvest on a rainy day, your ass is going to be stuck and you're going to be digging yourself out of hole. This is why I never stop because I know what it is to look in the bottom of the barrel and ain't shit down, that I got to pull something out of thin air. And anybody that's been living long enough, you know exactly what I mean. Because in, as human beings, we all make mistakes. We all misjudge and misstep. You got to learn how to forgive yourself, stop beating yourself up, give yourself grace, own the fact that this is a lesson no matter how expensive and how much you, it costs you. The question is, how are you going to move in the next step? Because the problem is, you know, human beings hard-headed as hell. We will, you know, get a little paper, start flossing, Get a little paper, think we done made it and ain't put nothing away for it during the day. Don't know how we going to come up after we done messed around and missed this, missed that, did this, did that. When that's all part of life, that's what y'all keep missing. Like, I know people now that sit around and talk about people who squeak when they walk. But let me explain something to you. I love those people because I'm not that person. Like, I got a whole level of respect. For somebody that can stack some shit away for a rainy day and 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 look broke as hell and be sitting on a million dollars. I'm not hating on you because I feel like that's a whole talent. You know, at the end of the day, though, me, I'm all about putting everything in my business because I'm going to have everything I need to do what I got to do. As long as I got what I need, I know I can come up. I know I can come out the hole because I got the tools to do it. Now, everybody move different, you know, and I'm not saying, you know, this is why we talk about the five bank accounts, but ain't no need having the five bank accounts if you're not applying the processes. If you're not watching your, dotting your I's and crossing your T's, like right now, it's, uh, shoot, I don't know what time it is. 
I really don't, but I know it's probably 8 30, 9 o'clock. I'm about to go drop off some returns to Marcone because I got to stay on top of my paperwork. And I'm not even home that much to do it. You feel me? But the point is when I'm here, I'm keeping my books clean, keeping my parts in order because this, I don't care how tired I am, how many days I've been on the road, I'm going to do my administrative work. I'm not going to miss no um, work I got to submit. I'm not going to miss any customer communication. I keep my stuff on in order. And that's why if you go to my Google account for my business, you will see customers that are just blown away by my communication skills, my level of professionalism. They don't damn know I've been up all night. They never will know because that ain't their issue. My issue is to go in to serve, to charge an appropriate and elite price in an elite pricing structure and get paid for the effort I put in. But there's a price for that. Me, instead of being at home in my bed, chilling, watching up and binge watching something, you know, because I can think of a couple of things. My ass is out here doing admin on Saturday night, period. Because I'm not going to, nobody going to do it for me. And that's what I keep telling you. The hardest part of business is getting out here and doing it, even when you don't want to. You think I want to be darting traffic between looking at two primo and the rest of y'all damn cousins, you know, and, and, and dodging their ass and, and half of them drunk, high, and they ain't got no damn insurance. <laughs> Welcome to South Florida. <laughs> All I can do is drive defensively and still get it done. You know, failure is not an option and favor ain't fair. That's all I got for y'all, man. Y'all stay blessed. I done gave y'all enough game. But get off your ass and go do it, man. Go start something. And, you know, I mean, go start working on appliances if this is what you want to do. Break down your own appliances. You know, fix your relative stuff. You know, just figure it out. Sign up for Thumbtack Pro Referral or something. Get into people's homes. Start figuring out these appliances because once you do it, your ass ain't going to look back. I'm telling you because you're going to be like, I can leave home with a negative balance and come back with two, three Gs. Easy. But you got to know what you're doing, you know? Enough said, y'all. They make it look easy, but I swear it ain't. But you can do it. Trust me, you can. If I can do it, you can. Y'all have a great night. Be blessed.